Hello guys, I have been looking at this tool on demand for the last two to three days. And the more time I spent on this tool, the more it entices me. And there are two main reasons for that. First and foremost, the interface. This platform, which brings models, data sets, rag, lot of other things together, the interface makes it so easy, so seamless to use artificial intelligence on your fingertips. Secondly, the thing which really places it out of the park is the way they have configured and integrated lot of plugins which are built in and a lot of other features which you can integrate very very easily and very nicely. For instance, if you look at this first screen, this screen showcases what you can do with on demand. You don't even have to know anything about on demand in order to start using it and that is what makes a tool successful. On demand is the world's first decentralized large language operating system designed to accelerate product development and tackle agentic workloads. Think of on demand as your own AI powered agent that works alongside your business. If you, for instance, look at this one, this quickly tells you what is your monthly usage if you are using the models or agents, what sort of media st storage you are using, what are your statistics on different matrices around the block, and then it also gives you a very quick snapshot of your plugins and the models which you are using. Now, moving along, there are a lot of goodies in it, so let's delve a bit deeper into this on demand. One of the first thing I want to show you on this platform is this playground. If you look at it, it's very intuitive. You can just start using it without any prior knowledge. So for instance, on the right hand side, you can select your models. It comes with preset. You can have your own ones. You can manage them. For instance, right now you can see that GPT 3.5 Turbo is already selected. You can start it in debug mode if you want to troubleshoot it or if you want to see what exactly is happening especially if you are using your own knowledge base and then if you scroll down you will see some of the hyperparameters like temperature which sets the randomness of the responses the value is between 0 and 1 1 is more creative 0 is more deterministic and then you can specify top p top key for the outputs and few other tidbits now if you ask the question here for example, I'm asking it, write a short story about a world where humans coexist with intelligent machines. And let me make it a tad bit bigger. So, human exists with intelligent machines focusing on a friendship that defies social norms. Press enter. And then it is interacting with the AI. There you go. So, you can select multiple models here. You can use your own model, you can use it from hugging face and then you can chat with it. The beauty is that all the models would be on the same screen here. So this is the beauty of it. Now, this playground is amazing. You can do a lot of things with it. For instance, you can get the code out of it. For, just click on this get a code and then maybe I'll say, maybe I'll say, Python here and then get code and you can start generating code with it there you go so you can extend the code you can copy the code you can close the code how good is that and you can already sense that the interface is quite fluid you scroll here on the left hand side it will open up the menu you scroll on the right it will present the whole screen in front of you you don't have to click and clack in order to move around this makes it so intuitive. So really hats off to the developers who have done a wonderful job here. Now the real magic starts happening in this plugin marketplace. This plugin marketplace is really a unique feature. So this is where creators are able to deploy their own built-in plugins onto the platform. Plugins are then tested and verified by on-demand's own developer before they are made available on the marketplace. So you can either create your own or you can use the existing ones. For example, you can select from the education ones. These are few of the YouTube plugin, video plugin and that sort of stuff. And then you can go with the chat plugins or you can go with the file plugins. And this is another really good feature that they have divided these into chat and 
file plugins so primarily the difference is quite simple chat plugins are what you incorporate into the playground to use alongside the language model whereas file plugins are used alongside chat plugins and allow the user to import document photos videos etc so primarily file plugins are simply the knowledge base another cool thing about this marketplace is that plugins can be free and creators are rewarded per uh, x amount of downloads creators can also publish their plugins and charge a premium for their plugin to be used by other creators and users so you can deploy your own you can select from here the sky is the limit so for instance if you want to create a plugin the process is fairly simple just simply click on create plugin then for example you want to go with the knowledge base plugin click on next just type your name here and let me make it slightly smaller so that we will be able to see the whole screen maybe you could just say my plugin and i want to say you can choose a category here you can say research it goes with plugin type is chat you can give plugin description privacy policy you can upload a file from your system which will be act as the knowledge base for example you want to create an oracle dba sort of a plugin you can simply upload the documentation from oracle or any other stuff and then it will create the plugin on the basis of it you can put it on the marketplace and start earning or just share it with the community the only thing the only limit here is your creativity which is really good another cool feature is byom <clears throat> bring your own model where you can create your own model or you can create an endpoint and this allows you to bring your own model whether you have fine tuned them on your own custom data your custom platform and then you can even integrate your plugins with them and if you want to see it you can use a debug debug mode to play around with it also language models are available directly through hugging face they can be deployed into users playground which you can use alongside your own plugin so <clears throat> there are a lot of stuff there for example you can click on create model here you just give the model url or you can just enter the zip file url one option could be you could place it in for example aws s3 bucket zip it and provide the url there or you can search it from hugging face for example you want to go with meta llama 3 or you can give hugging face repo id and then hugging face token which you can obtain from hugging face token to download it and then you can search it by narrowing it down you can filter it down with number of parameter like 7 billion 80 billion 70 billion or you can filter it down with the context length which is primarily the spotlight of model which it can handle a text in specific period of time so you see there are a lot of good stuff happening here let's cancel from here you can even just create an endpoint so you can select a model from here whatever you have selected and then you can give it an endpoint name and you should be good to go you can deploy it from here and then of course you would need to check out the pricing on their pro plans as how it works so all in all i would say that are real good stuff so, and i think that the primary strength of this on demand lies in its advanced and versatile nature its ability to manage multiple features like integrating predefined models handling your byom or byoi managing different data sources and files and providing comprehensive responses within a single session with dedication to seamless ai experience you can also call it an intelligent SaaS that simplifies complexity with its advanced yet user-friendly platform it breaks down the barriers that made leveraging ai in business operations complex and unattainable so i believe all in all a really good solution because it is offering a comprehensive suite of features and capabilities and it really stands to revolutionize i think business operations because by infusing applications with ai intelligence enabling the development of smart systems and chatbots and you can also facilitate even data driven decisions i think this is more than a pass or something else it is a holistic ai platform or operating system as i mentioned at the start so use it as a powerful tool i will drop the link to it in video description with a contact form join the wait list and then start playing around with it i'm more than sure you won't be disappointed so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think of the tool if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network 
and it helps a lot thanks for watching